Almost there. Almost there. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Scouts channel. I've always wondered why airports in GTA 5 are so small. In fact, I challenged myself to land the Big Sur plane on the smallest runway. Well, not really the Big Sur plane, since this would be the cargo plane, which you can only pilot in one specific mission in story mode or using mods. And since I play on a PlayStation console, I can't do that. So I will attempt to land the second largest plane in story mode, which is called Jet. Yes, just Jet. Before I try that, let's have a look at the runways on the map. The main airport is Los Santos International and has two runways. The main one with approximately 960 meters and the secondary with 630 meters. There are two runways in Fort Zancudo too. I was surprised that the main runway there was actually a bit longer and wider than the one in Los Santos with about 1 km. The secondary with 400 meters. In Grand Sonora Desert there are three lanes with 680, 480 and 360 meters. And finally, Grape Seeds Airfield with just a single 200 meters runway. Putting these airports side by side, we get the scale of how small Grape Seeds Airfield is. I want to start with a smaller aircraft, so I decided to try this with Luxor. It's quite a fast jet which should make things easy. But even though much smaller than the plane I want to try, this jet takes too long to fully stop. As soon as I touched the ground, I hold the brakes all the way and took this much for it to stop. On the secondary runway, I took too long to touch the ground, but it was easy enough to land it. As I said before, Fort Zancudo Lane is longer than Los Santos Airport, so no problems here. For the secondary, however, I tried to land as close to the beginning as possible. This would give me time to break all the way. In Grand Sonora Desert, the landing wasn't the smoothest, but I managed it. The next landing is when they started to feel short. Following is the shortest on this airfield during this beautiful sunset. You can see I tried to slow down so much I turned the engines off. Very close to getting to the main runway. Now in grape seat, I even broke the left landing light due to the impact, but I believe your passengers are happy to be alive. It all went well with Luxor, but let's try with a bigger plane. Enter Titan. This AC-130 based airplane is bigger and heavier than Luxor, but slower. My biggest issue with this plane was that personally found it a bit difficult to see when I was close to the ground, and often ended up not taking advantage of the full length of the lanes. Had the same problem here. On this lane I had to be careful, or the wings would hit the antennae besides the track. Again, same problem, but all passengers alive. No big issues here. In this one though, we can hear that the impact broke some windows and the aircraft bounced. For the smallest airfields, I cut the engines off before reaching the runway. This reduced the distance to a full stop by quite a lot. It was even smoother than the previous landing. Now the jet plane. This one is massive. You can barely hear its engines because sometimes the auto glitches. And the engine sound is still the place on the map where I got it and doesn't follow the plane. For this one, I had to skip Fort Zancudo since you can't find this plane on GTA Online. If I tried to land there, I would be obliterated by their air defenses. So let's head straight to Grand Sonora Desert. Things here got very tricky. The length of the runway surely was a problem, but a much bigger one was the wingspan. The lanes aren't nearly as wide as I needed them to be. I had to avoid many obstacles, this big rock for instance, and then I found there was more than just the rock. This makes parts of the lanes unusable and then much shorter. I had to skip these rocks here, got some cacti on the way, but I can call this a landing. 
Now I tried the shortest at this airport. I had to avoid the rock, a tree that can't be broken at the junction of the lanes, and those walls on the right hand side. If this wasn't enough, there was an airplane lifting off. Look how small it seems next to my airplane. Yes, I tried to make this landing many, many times. And there it goes our pilot friend again. A sharp turn. I took the opportunity to trim some bushes here, but hey, I made it. And there is my confused friend trying to figure out what the heck a commercial aircraft was doing there. And now, for the moment you came to watch this video, landing this behemoth on the tiniest runway in GTA. Before trying this, I went to Grape Seeds to figure out the best way to land the plane. The wingspan is way too big for this. I noticed that there is this antenna. So, probably coming from this way wouldn't work. To avoid it, it'd be too high to land on the rest of the track. But I also have to avoid those lighting poles here. Also, some trees, the shed... Okay, you got the point. And learned that behind that bush, there's a tree trunk. You have no idea how many times I tried. And then, one time, at night, With a hard stop, I, I have to admit, I finally landed in the smallest airport there is in the game. I can't believe it is actually possible to land this commercial airplane on this little dirt road. Let's celebrate by capturing this moment. And there we have it. Can you also land this huge plane in this airfield? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you can help my channel by hitting the like button and subscribing. Did you know the PlayStation Plus subscription is changing in June? You should check this video. That's all and thanks for watching.